Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, thank you for the response to the last video. Um, so all of you, a lot of you know that I, I, I take photographs across a lot of um, genres, but my favorite uh, genre has to be portraits. So I thought we should, I should do a video on um, my favorite photographers, my favorite portrait photographers on Instagram. And um, I thought this might be an interesting way to show you um, why I think you should follow them on, on, on the platform. So my absolute favorite is uh, Steve McCurry. Uh, Steve McCurry is uh, possibly one of the most renowned photographers of the world. And although I, I do think he he's, uh, he's more into travel photographs, but uh, all his photographs are about people and their stories across the world. So we'll just have a look through his stream. Uh, I'm sure you'll, you'll give more time, you'll dedicate more time to uh, looking through his work. So Steve McCurry has, is actually quite popularly known for his famous photograph called The Afghan Girl. But um, his, his body of work is amazing. He has uh, photographed people from Afghanistan to India to Bangladesh and even, even uh, a lot of uh, interesting places like Cuba, Africa. We'll see a few few photos. We'll open a few photos to show his trademark style and he's known for his his work in color. Um, he's quite um, he used to use Kodachrome film back in the days, but now he shoots digital. But his colors always have a special feel about them. He hardly shoots in monochrome, but uh, his colors look wonderful and very, very realistic. We'll now go to the second uh, photographer that I like, and he is his platoon. He's, he's a very, um, very renowned name in the name in in the field of photography, and uh, he has uh, photographed a lot of remarkable people from a lot of different um, walks of life, and. Um, he has a distinct, very contrasty monochrome images and he has photographed people uh, like very renowned people like Robert De Niro or a lot of other famous people and he has photographed them in his own style and he is known to uh, use a very ultra wide lens from time to time to to make photographs to make portraits and go very close to uh, his subjects again most of these photographers um, have a vast body of work and it might not be enough for you to just look through their Instagram streams. Uh, I recommend you to Google, uh, use Google and then look more of their work. So Babak Fatullahi is, 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 is a photographer that I actually found out from Instagram or maybe I followed, used to follow his Flickr stream. So he is he's basically a photographer from Iran and he photographs people. Um, this, most of these photos are not of models but of, of people uh, who are his friends. Some are models, some are paid shoots, some are not. Some are his friends. But what's very interesting about his photos are, are how how close um, they are and how, how uh, like, you know, you feel that he knows each of them, each, each of the person he photographs. And the use of, I think, very uh, lively expressions in his photographs. And, and most of the photos are not very technical. They are very, very simply taken, uh, very intimate and very, um, have a very strong sense of his subject. His work is equally good in, in color and in monochrome. And you see a lot of good use of light, uh, which is quite important for, for any portrait photographer. We'll, we'll jump to another very, very familiar f uh, name. Um, she's uh, Annie Lebovitz. And she's, she's probably uh, the most renowned photographer who's working with renowned people. And he's, he's photographed like wonderful photos uh, over the years. Uh, I think he's, she's been photographing for over 30, 40 years now. Uh, 
and her again you have to go back and look at her work outside instagram but she has she has photographed a lot of people and all of them are very so her, i think i think what what makes her photo stand out is how she invo includes the the surroundings and uh it's not only about the people in them but also about the surrounding um uh, environment the colors and um the the body language uh, everything everything is quite important and um you you cannot deny the fact that uh, a female photographer lends her uh, brings a lot of her own aesthetics into uh, her photos so this is a photograph of the queen um so so yeah so we will talk about this um photographer he's um Alberto Moro uh, i found him out, out from his flickr stream and interestingly like my my list of favorite portrait photographers um features a mix of uh professionals and also uh, non professionals and i really admire um the passion or um most importantly he the, the consistency of his portraits so alberto's portraits if you see look through his stream as i am going through um they are mostly in in uh black and white to be honest and those are the photos that i like the most so his photos have a have a consistency and he I, he's i think he's like a like a user and so he tends to keep it very simple these are all like uh window um light portraits and he uses a 50 mm or a 70 mm lens and then uh he uses very similar kind of backdrop and kind of repeats what he does but uh in in his own way when you see each photo you see, you see uh you see the variation but again th there is this straight mark style that he has and uh, i always whenever i see uh, one of his photos on my stream or on my news feed i can i can easily tell they are uh, his photos and that that's that's a great uh, quality in a photo in a, in a portrait photographer to be honest uh these are all very very nice very lively photographs and uh, i do believe instagram is not the best uh, platform to see like you know a lot of technical photographs but uh, i think once you find them you can always google and then you know or go to the flickr and see more of the photographs so amar ramesh is an indian photographer he is um, he shoots weddings as well but uh, what i admire about him is is the passion he uh, puts into his photograph and he's also he also happens to be a pro photo ambassador so um his work with light is amazing and so what he has been doing for the last couple of years is he's been photographing uh musicians based in his hometown and these photos are just amazing uh the use of light in the photographs and the, the way he tell every every photo has its own charm and he uses light um in in most of them to make them stand out and each of the photos are different um uh they also tell you how planning is is important and how um long term vision and like you know building a body of work which has some consistency is is very important and uh, i think the other thing that i like about his photos about even 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 the series is he uses it's not it's it has a lot of variety in terms of visuals he uses color he goes back to uh, black and white and then he also uses uh telephoto lenses he uses wide angle lenses but his main focus is on telling the story and whatever uh is required to tell the story in the best possible way he he would just use that gear Mar Safin um, uh, is again one uh, another photographer that I uh, I have been following since my Flickr days um since uh, 2012 or 13 and his use of light really astounds me um he is uh, he's based in uh, Russia he's based in Russia and his photos are mostly uh, mo of models or her, his friends uh and 
There are, uh, there is definitely a consistency in his photos, but uh, what really astounds me is, is his use, his use of light and um, mostly natural light, and so, and uh, the fact that he uses a lot of, um, he uses a 35 mil lens to to make most of his photographs which is not technically the best lens for portraits but he he goes very close and like you know his photos have a certain look about them and uh, he uses very shallow depth of field which i quite admire but uh, his photos have have a uh, have a voice of their own and uh, like i said his his use of uh, light is amazing and his his the processing uh, he does with his photos uh, qu quite quite uh, amazing so Mick Mojo is another photographer that I follow from Flickr, and he um, his photos always stood out back then uh, when I was starting out, and I would love his photos. Uh, what's the most um, uh, what what I really admired in his photos, like um, other than the human connection that um, they have, is he's he uses a medium format camera for most of his work, and um, the look of the photos just just because of the kind of gear he uses and the kind of light he shoots in uh most of it is natural light but just see these amazing photographs like most of them are actually shot on film uh medium format and the col the kind of colors and the kind of tones you get out of these and the depth is is quite amazing and uh he also shoots photos of his family um does a lot of black and white work and his black and white is a very very classy um like i said he shoots a lot of medium format so they are shot in cro in square and uh his his photos does make me feel uh does make me want to shoot in in medium format uh, analog if possible So we'll talk about Greg Williams. Greg Williams is uh, it's a portrait photographer based in Hollywood, and interestingly, he is he is a celebrity photographer. It means uh, he has been following stars, uh, Hollywood stars, for years now. And once you look through his stream, you'll find every every major actor like Brad Pitt or Eva Green or Meryl Streep. Uh, he covers events like the Oscar, the, the the BAFTA, and the most interesting thing is he does not photo. He most of his photos are very raw and very real, and not very um, glossy, um, and that really separates him from the rest of the gang. Really, like his photos, and most of them are black and white. He is also another like a shooter, and. Uh, his work is uh, is very raw, very real. Uh, you might not like every photo that you see. It might not make much not sense to you. But when you see his work as as a body of work, it, it does make a lot of sense. And it does like you know uh, because he is presenting these these stars as 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 normal human beings, and that that's quite a different difficult task to uh, undertake. My my last pick uh, is actually a photographer who's not on Instagram, but that uh, does, did not stop me from including him in my list of favorite photographers. So Nasir Ali Mamun Bhai is a uh, is a Bangladeshi photographer who has been um, doing portrait photography since the independence of Bangladesh in 1972, and he has been photographing prominent writers and intellectuals in the country who are often not photographed in the nation. He has photographed poets, he has photographed uh, writers, and uh, his work is not very actively uh, found online, but uh, his work is just exemplary. I've been to a few of his exhibitions, uh, but I would, I would uh, recommend you to just uh, find him on YouTube. You can find an artist of which will really inspire you if you uh, like to take for f portraits of people but you should see this three minute video that I'll also link it uh, you should see this video um, of it's, it's a small interview but it also showcases some of his photographs that he has taken of some some renowned uh, faces of, of Bangladesh so uh, 
I hope that was useful for you, uh, the list of 10 portrait photographers that you can follow on Instagram and then you can look through their work and learn a lot from uh, the, the new photos that they post. And then um, I feel it, it, it's, if you're a portrait photographer, um, all different kind of uh, portraits will inspire you to shoot more. Uh, now that we don't, uh, that we are not able to shoot a lot of portraits or photos for, uh, uh, photos. Um, we we can take this time to look through more of uh, good photographers' work and then feel inspired or like you know become better at at um, what we want to do in the future. So thank you again for the video uh, to for for subscribing and um, I hope to make a few more videos of this list if if you think it's it's uh, useful. Um, I, I feel like I feel I should do a list on wedding photographers and landscape photographers and street photographers. Uh, that's at least three that I want to do in, in the next few weeks. I also want to do a couple of more tutorials on, on, on post-processing, maybe one on color and um, yeah, something else. Please let me know what you want to see in this channel. Uh, I am trying to give back to the photography community or through, through these videos that I can record. And um, thank you again for um, the warm response la for the last video for the last video. Thank you guys. Uh, see you again.